Hello everyone and welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a rain effect using Thai Flow. So what we're first going to do is just some preparation. So what I'm going to do is under, in the command panel under um, shapes, I'm going to create a rectangle. Perfect. So now that that's done, we'll go back to our create and our geometry and I will enter a tie flow. It doesn't matter where you put this on the viewport, it just matters that it's in there. So I'm going to select it and under modify, go to open editor. So once the editor's open, here we are going to be creating the entire rain effect. So what I'm first going to do is add the birth and you just drag and drop. So under the birth, once it's in, I'm not going to do anything with it, but what I'm first going to do is add the position icon, which is here. If you end up not being able to find a certain um, uh, setting within this view, you can always press the tab and it's underneath where you want to add and then start typing and position icon is what I want to add. So once the position icon has been put underneath the birth, I want to go create new. And as you can see, it has entered a position icon. But here we have an issue because we do not want the rain to be coming directly at the plane. We want to have it offset so that it is falling onto our ground. So I'm just going to offset it quite a bit. And then in the um, parameters, I'm going to change the size to um, 5 meters by 5 meters. So under position icon, we then want to add our speed. We drag and drop under position icon. And if we press play on our animator, you can see that the um, birth objects have moving out quite randomly. So that is because under direction, it's got random 3D. We want to change it to a long icon arrow. That means that the objects will be falling along the arrow towards the ground. And under icons, we want to pick our plane and select the position icon. So now if we press play, we have our objects falling from our position icon. So under birth, we can go and change our um, particle birth settings. So I think that that is a lot of rain to be falling. So I'm going to change my per frames to uh, maybe 20. So we've got a little less rain falling from the position icon. It's still quite a lot, so I'll change it to 10. That looks nicer. So next, what we want to do is add our force. So underneath your speed, you then want to uh, drag and drop in your force. Once your force is loaded and you press play, you will see that it is still falling quite slow. So I'm going to change that to negative 0.5. And it is still going too fast, so negative 0.1. And it's falling a bit better now. So I might change it to 0.05. So now what we want to do is add our shape. So I'm going to go and add shape underneath force. So with shape, you could typically add um, one of the mesh shapes that's in here, maybe a 3D um, cylinder this way but I find that it's easier to um, uh, create the shape yourself. So in your viewport, go back to create and go create cylinder. So we're going to create the, sh uh, the shape of the rain that we want to be falling from our um, original point. 
So as you can see, the cylinder is too large at the moment. So in my parameters, I'll be changing the radius to 0 0.01 and the height to perhaps uh, 0 0.2. I think it's still quite a bit too thick. So I'm going to instead make the radius 0 0.001. That's a bit better. And I might change my height to 0 0.5. So then I'm going to open tie flow back up and under shape, I'm going to go remove all and then add selected. So if you go into display and the type small dots, you go to geometry. So when you go back into shape, you can see, um, and if we press play, you can see that we have our rain falling now. So next what I'm going to do is uh, change uh, some of the settings within my birth. So I'm gonna keep it to uh, 10 particle births per frame but I'm going to start my frame at maybe negative 100 or negative 50 and end it at uh, 300. So next what we want to do is add collision. So under shape, we add collision. So once the collision has loaded, what we first want to do is pick our plane. So we pick our rectangle that we created and then you can see that the rain has not passed the plane and it is instead bouncing back up. So if we press play on our animation, we can see the rain is hitting the surface and not acting as rain should. So we can fix that with a few tweaks in the bounce settings. So down in bounce, we can then change the bounce percent to maybe 15%. And that looks a bit better, but it is a lot of rain. So I might change the variation to 50 and 50 in diverge as well and press play. And we can see that when it falls, it's creating multiples when it falls, which then will create a puddle effect later on. So next, what we want to do is add a spawn. So if we go tab and go spawn press enter and we just connect it um, to the event one so the first thing you should do is in your geometry change it to uh, small dots and then select your shift key select the force and drag it over to below spawn that will copy the force uh, settings from this um, event one to event two with the exact same settings. But as you can see, the rain in event two isn't doing what we want it to. So to fix this effect, we then want to go and drag collision over as well. So hold your shift key and drag it over. And now our collision point is the same. So if watching um, your rain effect and you're still not happy, what you can do is go into spawn and under your offspring, you can change it to perhaps five offspring. And that means that it will create, every time one of the birth objects hits the ground, one of those birth objects will create five spawn. So then if we wanted to further um, enhance our puddling effect that we have going on the ground. We can scroll down to inherited properties and under velocity, change our variation to 50% and our divergence to 50%. This number can change depending on what uh, output you want. So if when looking, you don't think that maybe um, it's not giving the same or the right amount of bounce or any of it. You can go back and change the settings in your force and your collision. Um, maybe change the gravity 
if this is too much or the rain is coming down too fast in your collision, you can go ahead and change your bounce. You've now created a puddling effect and a rainfall. So this is useful if in um, you're creating an animation or a walkthrough of a street or you want to see a rain effect happening outside from an interior view. So I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.